Uh, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we're getting started with our Q&A today with a very special patient of ours, Robert Nelson, cornerback for the Houston Texans. And Robert's been coming in here really to improve his overall performance. He doesn't really have a lot of problems, but he wants to perform at his highest level. And he comes in here and gets adjusted, and he gets a ring dinger. And I'll let him tell you how that feels afterwards. So let's take a look at your posture here first, Robert. Let's have you flex your head forward and then backwards, please, sir. And then neutral, yep. See how it's just a little bit forward and over to the left? See that in the mirror? Mm -hmm. Not bad, though. Pelvis is pretty much centered up. That's a good thing. When I first met Robert, he had injured his lower back, and we got that feeling pretty good pretty quick, didn't we? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. This is Robert's favorite now. So we're gonna lay him down here on this table. <laughs> and we're gonna do the ring dinger. So you can see, you've seen some of our other patients, including myself and Joseph and Renee, all on this. There we go, slide down just a little bit. I'll never forget the first time we did this on Robert. He got some big eyes too. This is a shock and awe adjustment, isn't it? First time. <laughs> Still gives you willies, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is by far the best adjustment for decreasing disc pressure, nerve pressure, and joint pressure in the spine. And especially if you have a curvature, or scoliosis, or herniated disc, or bulge disc. Okay, so we're just going to take a nice, easy run at it today. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Perfect. Now, Robert can tell you from playing professional football, how many years now? Three. Three years now. That That's like being in a car accident two or three times a week. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the trauma that these guys undergo, not just in games, but in training and in practice, and they're going to sit you up sideways, and we'll come over here on your tummy next. I mean, it's, it's a heavy-duty physical sport, and they need heavy-duty physical training and rehabilitation to make sure they can operate at their top level of performance. And that's what we do to make sure that they can do that. We adjust their biomechanics from their feet all the way up to their head. That wasn't too bad today, actually. Yeah. Didn't hurt like it used to, did it? <laughs> So we're going to start down here on your SI joints. Good. There. Yeah, Robert got an interception in this last preseason game against New Orleans. Relaxing good. Yep. Got one more right here. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit here. We got the Super Bowl coming to Houston here in 2017, so Houston's ramping up for that. It'd be nice to see the Texans in the Super Bowl this year, huh? Yeah. Okay, this guy right here. Boy, I couldn't even do that two weeks ago. I'm working on his paraspinal muscles and then also in his gluteus medius and maximus right down here and then we get a little bit lower it's in his piriformis which is where his hip rotates in and out 
And a lot of times, professional athletes will get groin injuries from the rapid turns and twists that they have to do in their sports. See that a lot in tennis, football, basketball, even baseball. Anything that requires a rapid turn and twist and change of direction can cause piriformis problems, IT band issues, and gracilis problems, which are on the medial aspect of the thigh. And that usually starts up in the groin area. A lot of times you'll hear them called groin injuries. So we adjust his sacrum to make sure his sacrum's lined up because that's what the sacroiliac joints alignment is dependent upon, which is where the gracilis attaches in at the bottom of the pelvis called the ischium. See, his legs are exactly even now, and this shouldn't create any tightness or pain this time. Does it? No. Okay, good. So you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit on this next one. This puts the cervical curve back in their necks because these guys are taking headshots all the time and it diminishes the curve in their necks. So, okay, let's turn you on your back now. Now you're going to see me doing some different things with Robert than we do some of our patients because he needs them. This is a active resistive stretch that we're going to do. So I'm see he's already really limber. So that's, that's got his hamstring tight right there. So I'm going to have you push against me and exhale as I push against you. Now inhale and relax. Watch how much improvement we get in their flexibility. Now push against me and exhale. Okay, now relax and breathe in. And one more time. That one was stressed out there, wasn't it? Okay, now one more time breathing in. Look at that, though, the increase in your range of motion. Now, see his gracilis muscles going all the way down the interior of his thigh here, down to his knee, even. Is that sore at all? That's yeah. not that bad, is it? Is that sore? Yeah. Bit. Okay. Well, I'll show you a special adjustment for that. Okay, again, we're going to... There you go. Exhale. Breathe in, and push and exhale, and breathe in, get my pin out here, so, and try that again, there we go, good, excellent, now I'm actually gonna work on his hip flexor here too, which is the psoas muscle, it's right here, where it attaches into the anterior superior iliac spine, I'm gonna push down, Robert, you resist, Man, that's strong even though it's hurt. Keep going again. Excellent. Good job. Man, most people couldn't hold that up. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. I'm going to push down. Now, this one's a little weaker. Do you feel that? But this will help that heal up quicker. And one more time. Good. Okay, now. I'm going to have you put this leg up like this. This won't be your favorite adjustment, but it'll help you. I'm going to adjust your senseless pubis here, which is right where that gracilis attaches. There it is. Woo, that was tender, wasn't it? That's probably, <laughs> that's probably your least favorite adjustment now. Oh, man. <laughs> and we'll make sure your equipment's in the other side. There it is, right there. That was perfect, though. Okay, just relax both legs down there. And we're going to decompress his knees, which are a little bit loose, but not bad. That's the way most cornerbacks and receivers are because of all the cuts they take. There you go. You should have felt that knee all the way up to your back, though. Good man. So we'll just put your arms out like this for a second, straight out. Adjusting his costal sternal joints now as well as his AC joints. 
in his shoulders. Okay, let's sit you up and face towards Joseph for a second. There we go. There we go. I saw you make some pretty good interceptions when you were with Cleveland. Yeah. And a lot of Arizona State. Yeah. You know who Brian Jones is? No. He used to play middle linebacker for UT back in the day. In the Tennessee? 80s. No, UT. Okay. University of Texas. Mm -hmm. He was All-American middle linebacker. He got drafted by the Raiders. Anyway, oh, I took care of him all through his college career, and that's how oh, he man, got to become a pro. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see you up here in front of the mirror now. Okay, let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. That's already better range of motion. Take a look now. See, you're not as far right. So let's pull these guys up here and back, and these like this. Okay. There. There we go. Okay, now you can relax. Try that again. This should feel smoother. Let your head forward and backwards again. That should feel like it's on a swivel. Good. What would you share with our YouTube audience, Robert, that uh, this has done to help you improve your game and your performance? Uh, it definitely has helped me recover faster, um, feel more loose on the field, and just feel like I want to go out there and hit somebody in the mouth because I know I can, <laughs> I can come see him and get adjusted Thank the next you. day. Appreciate you sharing that yes, with sir. us. And great season this year to you. Yes, and uh, this is your Houston chiropractor. And we're going to start our Q&A questions in about five minutes. So we'll see y'all soon. Bye.